So yeah, today uh, I want to like discuss how to uh, kind of uh, prolong the the chef life of the your of your food. Actually, I I didn't really have uh, too much idea about it, and uh, I bought previously I bought a lot of a lot of uh, vegetables, and I normally just put them in uh, in the in the fridge, but usually it will kind of uh, gradually become spoiled uh, after uh, four or five days. I kind of like trouble. It was troubling me, and. Uh, I I just have an idea to you to kind of put them probably in the fridge no in the freezer in the freezer which is like uh, uh, like below zero degree and I want to know what will happen and the interesting thing is like I put it in the freezer for a week and I got it back put it back to the, the fridge the uh, kind of uh, the temperature around five degrees six degree and uh, it, it became a super weird form of the vegetables. Yeah, I, 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 never, I never have seen that kind of vegetables. And uh, it, it looks like the seaweed. It looks like seaweed. And I wonder how, how it would like taste like. So I cook, I cook them. And it end up, it's like very dry. It, it feels like the moisture already gone, all gone. And I was eating something super weird and I actually have, have a video which I will uh, put it in the end of this video uh, if you are kind of curious about that you can just check it out yeah so recently I've been like discovering uh, kind of a different ways of to kind of prolong the chef life of food and uh, definitely the freezer is the kind of a very very important tool in terms of uh, uh, getting the food uh, preserve longer and uh, I was thinking even to put the eggs put, put eggs into the freezer but I didn't really do that because uh, some people said the egg I just a little bit worried what will happen if I kind of uh, uh, really need to use even I kind of uh, unfrozen it but I, I don't really know how it will ha happen yeah, and uh, for for the to for for the bread, it's actually working well. I have like a fresh sliced bread, and uh, normally if you I just put it in the fridge, um, it, uh, the chef life will not be more than a week. Uh, after that, it's still eatable, but it's just not delicious. Uh, so I put it in the in in the in the freezer, and uh, I put it for probably for a week or two. After that, I. Put it back to the room room temperature, and it's just uh, like totally fresh. It just uh, tastes as good as the first time I, uh, I bite it, right? The first time I, I I purchased that, so that's so good. Yeah, so I think that's very important because for me, I mostly cooking at home now. And uh, I don't really want to go to the grocery uh, every three days, every four days. So I normally go to the grocery for a week or two. And that's very important for me to uh, be able to put those food um, in the fridge or in the freezer longer. Yes, this is what happens when you cook them. It's like seaweed. Yes, very, it's very compressed, condensed, right? Just like seaweed. Just wondering how it will taste like. Uh, hope it's good. Because it's not good. Probably I will just generate. I will just generating a lot of waste. I don't want to waste food. No one want to waste food, right? Yeah, and uh, let's just wait. Yeah. So that's probably all I want to share today, and I I, I do find that it's actually interesting. And yes, that's just the talk, the random idea today. And uh, if you have any other good methods to kind of uh, prolong the, the, your uh, the chef life of your food, uh, leave it in the comment section below. And uh, other than that, I will see you next time.